Every week, we bring you useful health information in medical rounds. And today, as summer gets started, we're talking about golf and the potential for injuries. Joining us now with more on that is Dr. Daniel Whitmer. He's an orthopedic surgeon at Hartford HealthCare, the Bone and Joint Institute. Thank you, doctor, for being with us. Thanks for having me. Perfect to have you as the Travelers Championship tees off. So what are the most common golf injuries that you see? The most common injuries that I see as a hip and knee doctor are typically overuse injuries, usually at the start of the season or after playing several rounds of golf. Folks that have underlying arthritis or meniscal tears can be aggravated. We also see people just have slips and falls on the course, and that could cause sprains or sometimes even broken bones. And what's really the cause behind the injuries? Most of the injuries that we see, the large majority are overuse injuries. So it's people who um, maybe haven't played for a while or are doing a lot of playing where they're not used to that, and they can aggravate underlying arthritis of their hip or knee joint. That's certainly probably the most common thing that we see, especially in the knee. And what are some of the treatment options available? Well, luckily, most of the treatment involves non-operative treatment. We generally start with anti-inflammatories, physical therapy to strengthen up your legs and the muscles surrounding your joints, and sometimes an injection, and that'll get you back out on the course and back to playing. So the best thing is avoiding it, right? So how can golfers avoid injuries? Great question. So the biggest thing to do to avoid injuries is to make sure that we're staying strong, that you're warming up. If you're playing golf once a week or twice a week, make sure on the other days you're staying active and trying to keep your muscles strong. Um, and that's very helpful in preventing injuries. All right. Well, we appreciate your information, Dr. Daniel Whitmer. Thank you so much. And for everyone out there, to learn more, you can always visit boneandjoinstitute.org.